guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i thought it would be fun to switch it up a little bit and do a little weeknight cook with me after work show you guys like one of my all-time favorite recipes that i like to make that's super simple super easy to put together you only need a few ingredients and yeah i thought it would be fun for us to make dinner together so that's what we're gonna be doing tonight i'm gonna be making these air fried salmon bites bowls <laughs> so yeah let's get started Okay, sorry, the tripod just knocked over, so sorry if the angle's a little bit different, but first thing you're gonna need is some salmon. I just like to get the Fresh Atlantic Salmon Barbecue Cut from Trader Joe's, and this makes at least two servings, sometimes even three for me, but I just like to cut these up into little bite-sized pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna take each salmon filet and then I'm gonna slice them in half and cut into little like two inch cubes. And I also like to remove the skin from the salmon since they're gonna be little bite sized pieces. Now I'm just cutting these into little bite sized pieces. And then I just pop them into this bowl. Okay, so after all the salmon is cut up, it should look like this. Not the most appetizing, but my favorite part is adding all of the seasonings on this. So you can really do whatever you want, but I'm gonna show you the seasonings that I use. So here's my little concoction of seasonings. Salt and pepper, of course garlic powder this blackened seasoning which is so good for fish you guys i don't like to use a ton of this though because it kind of has like a similar taste to pepper um and then the best ingredient smoked paprika so good oh and onion powder i like to use a little more garlic powder compared to onion powder but all of these things together just give it the best flavor okay so salt Pepper, lots of garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and blackened seasoning. Now I'm gonna take a big spoon and mix all of this together so it's evenly coated. Okay, so now it looks like this and now we are going to pop it in the air fryer. Okay, I'm gonna dump that in and then I'm gonna make it a single even layer. Okay, now we're gonna cook this at 380 for about 12 minutes. This weekend I got a little scared because I came down with a cold and I feel like nowadays, anytime I have any cold symptoms, I'm like, is it COVID? But if you guys remember a couple videos ago, I said I was getting my third booster, which I found out quite late that I could even get. So this is your PSA. If you don't know, you can get another dose of the booster. And, and the great thing about this one is that it's aimed at attacking the variant that's circulating. So it's a lot more effective. And I've literally been telling everyone I know because I feel like a lot of people just like see COVID as like another cold. So people like aren't as concerned with it anymore but it's literally like the easiest thing you can do to prevent getting it or to minimize your symptoms if you do so i feel like that has made me a lot more calm when i do have cold symptoms because i'm like okay it's probably not covid and if it is covid it's gonna be like a very mild case of it so i took a test and luckily it was not covid we are in the clear and i'm starting to feel better but i swear like something is always going around especially when you live in a hub like los angeles like there's just so much circulating so if you live in a city even if you don't we're always around people and exchanging germs and viruses as gross as that sounds so protect yourself protect the people around you just get boosted it's literally so easy okay well that is in the air fryer i'm gonna show you guys how to make the magical spicy mayo it's only two ingredients mayo and sriracha i literally mix these two together so often and use them as a topping on so much so you're gonna take a little ramekin and a spoon and you want mostly mayo, so we're gonna do like about that much, maybe a little bit more. About that much, and then you're slowly gonna add in your sriracha. You want it to be like a light orange color, so I'm starting off with that much. And I'm just gonna add it in as I need it. But see, a little bit goes a long way. 
Okay, and there you have your spicy mayo to drizzle on top. Also forgot to mention that at the halfway point, you're just gonna wanna pull it out and shake it a little bit. I might have to use a spatula to get some of this up. Shake it and put it back in. Okay, now we're heading to the freezer to get our jasmine rice. I love this kind from Trader Joe's. You just heat it up in the microwave for three minutes. Last thing I'm gonna do is grab some green onions and I'm gonna chop these up to top the bowls. This is totally optional, but I think it adds a lot of flavor. My toxic trait is that I can't wait until dinner to eat, so I'm snacking on these dark chocolate bark fins um, from Trader Joe's. They are so good, you need to try them. Okay, this is what it looks like when they're done. As you can see, they're all nice and crispy. Putting on the mayo is a little tricky to like disperse evenly. And then top with some green onions, and there you go. Okay, you guys, moment of truth. I like to mix it all up together. Mm. So good every time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little easy weeknight cook with me video. If you guys try it, let me know. You will love it. It will definitely become part of your rotation. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.